One front kick. Apchagi. A basic kick where the leg is lifted and thrust forward to strike the target with the ball of the foot, heel, or instep. It's often used to attack the opponent's chest or abdomen. Two roundhouse kick. Dalio Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted and then swung around in a circular motion to strike the target with the top of the foot or shin. It's often used to attack the opponent's ribs or head. Three side kick. Yap Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted to the side and then thrust outward to strike the target with the outer edge of the foot. It's often used to attack the opponent's knee or ribs. 4. Hook Kick. Hario Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted and then bent at the knee to strike the target with the heel or ball of the foot. It's often used to attack the opponent's head or temple. 4. Axe Kick. Nario Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted and then brought down in a chopping motion to strike the target with the heel or ball of the foot. It's often used to attack the opponent's collarbone or head. 6. Crescent Kick. Vandal Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted and then swung in a crescent shape to strike the target with the heel or ball of the foot. It's often used to attack the opponent's temple or head. 7. Reverse Hook Kick. Vandal Dalio Chagi. A kick where the leg is lifted and then bent at the knee to strike the target with the heel or ball of the foot, but in a reverse direction. It's often used as a surprise attack against the opponent's head or temple. 8. Flying Side Kick. Twayo Yap Chagi. A kick where the practitioner jumps and then performs a side kick in midair to strike the target. It's often used as a dramatic move in demonstrations or for breaking boards. 9. Jumping Roundhouse Kick. Twayo Dalio Chagi. A kick where the practitioner jumps and then performs a roundhouse kick in midair to strike the target. It's often used as a flashy move in demonstrations. 10. Spin Hook Kick. Vituro Chagi. A kick where the practitioner spins around and then performs a hook kick to strike the target with the heel or ball of the foot. It's often used as a surprise attack against the opponent's head or temple.